Hello hackers, welcome to the new video where we are going to hack DOM XSS and the document writing using the source location.search. This lab contains the DOM based cross site scripting vulnerability in the search querying tracking functionality. It uses a JavaScript document that write function and it call it in the data form location search. Together we will see we have to do something special so we can do XSS attack. And to solve the lab, all what we have to do is to run alert function. And this lab I'm not going to use Pursuit, I'm only going to use inspector and console to explain you things. So guys, before moving forward, please don't subscribe to my channel, like this video and let's start. And here we go everybody, so first of all, let me open the inspector, let's click right, then go to inspect, here we go, now let me navigate in this website and discover it, as you can see this is absolutely a blog website, you can see we have a several of blogs in here. So my focus is going to be in this search input. So first let me try to put a random value in here. So let's say popo and let me search. And here we go. Now as you can see there is no popo article and this is absolutely normal. But we can recognize that we have two things in the title. First we have the popo word that I wrote and we have zero in here which means we have two dynamic variables. So let me navigate into the HTML code so we can see it together. I'm going to click on this icon and then I'm going to put my mouse on the title. Let me scroll a little bit so you can see it clearly. And as you can see, we have a text in H1 tag, which means poo poo, put it in the title as a string. So let me try to manipulate this input and send HTML code and to see if it's going to put it in the HTML code without filtering. So let me say h1 hack and let me close the h1 tag in here and let me search. And here we go. Now let me navigate into the HTML code. And as you can see, it take it as it is and put it as a string word. So how I can bypass this thing? So let me go to the console and let me explain you a few things. So let me clear in here. Let's say location.search and let me press enter. As you can see, we have a question mark and then we have the search in here and it's between double quotes. So it's absolutely the same what I have in here. So let me show it to you. As you can see, we have question mark search and then we have h1 and then we have the hack word and then we have the h1 and as you can see in here it encoded so this is why it doesn't take it as an html code so how can we bypass this thing we have to manipulate it so in case that this is a string and it uses double quotes let me try to use a double quote in here so in here let me try to write html code so let's say p tag and let me say popo and let me close the p tag and let me search so let me look into the HTML code. Now you can see nothing changed, but if you recognize, we found some interesting thing in here. We have popo, and then we have some two special characters in here. But if I try to navigate them, you can see that I'm not able to find them in the code. So let me just copy them, and let me just put them in here. Let me use h1 in here. Let me close the H1 and let me say popo in here and let me search. And here we go. Now you can see something can happen in here. I still see these two special characters, but popo in here changed its design. So let me discover it and let me see what just happened. And as you can see, now I'm able to see new HTML line, which is manipulated by me. So now I find the vulnerability where I can push XSS. So let me try to run alert function. So let's say double code, then the special character. Then I'm going to use a script tag. Let me close the script tag. And over here, I'm going to say alert, single quotes. Let me say popo hacked you. 
And now let me search. And here we go guys, now you can see I am able to run alert function with Popo Hackadu message. So guys, if you learned something new, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and if you need any help or have any feedback, please put it on the comment below and I will be very happy to answer you as soon as I can. And stay tuned to the next videos.